What's the one modern game you think the Nintendo 64 could never recreate? Bog Panda. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bog Panda. I almost said Squat Cobbler there. <laughs> so close no one listening cares but just mike knows <laughs> it's hard <laughs> we changed our name welcome back to bog panda i'm kelly at k-e-l-l-y t-h-o-l on twitter and instagram i am dr mike at official pagan on everything and you guys like subscribe leave comments turn on notifications hit up the merch store go buy as much stuff as you'd like caress the google algorithm or the youtube algorithm for us <laughs> caress the algorithm caress the algorithm there's a t-shirt there you go <laughs> there we go we'll have to work on that one have that one available when this episode releases um so probably a quick one today but uh the the game that i would advance although bioshock on 64 would probably be an interesting nintendo 64 would probably be an interesting yeah position. although doom 64 you know, you're not going to quite have the same pristine Art Deco aesthetic of Bioshock, but you might be able to get a little of the immersive stuff going there. But Portal, on the other hand, would seem to be super crazy hard to do. Uh, and um, James Lambert uh, YouTube channel link will be included in our description. He has set about uh, to do that. And so he has... He's taking us on the journey with him as he basically codes up a, uh, a version of Portal for the Nintendo 64. And it's super fun to watch. So just want to do a show to alert you to folks if you didn't know about that to go check it. There are a number of videos out there as he started to go through various stages. Uh, he'll get in pretty deep on some things regarding some of the kind of 3D modeling and physics that he has to kind of build uh, to, to get it to, to go forward. But the, the one video that caught my attention and went through was actually um, him doing the kind of recursive portals. So uh, are you a portal guy, Mike? I am. Yeah, I really enjoy portal. So as you might, might imagine, uh, given the limitations of the 64, one of the big challenges are is you're in a, a 3D space with walls. You take a portal gun, hit a wall, and open a portal you can then hit another wall and open another portal and so on and so on. And so you get this kind of recursive thing so that you're looking through. And if you're turning, you've got kind of multiple 3d spaces that the, the system has to keep track of to give you the right kind of pr perspective and those types of things. And uh, he wasn't sure how, you know, at what point the processor is going to dog out uh, you know, on a 64 and not really be able to handle six seven eight layers of this kind of stuff going on uh but uh this uh video that's out there uh he's showing and it was it's fascinating because he kind of did it over a period of time and he he started to do it and he said okay i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be able to pull off three or four and he got this yeah i can definitely do three or four uh but six is probably going to be about it and then i was like and then seven and then eight and then nine and then ten and performance was still kind of hanging in there and it was still kind of a very basic model but he was able to kind of show it through and it was just uh he must be a credibly gifted programmer coder uh, structuring and things because he's got this thing going way more than th any of us probably would have thought possible there and then he just kind of goes into building portals doing the physics on objects talking about um how how different things are constructed in the environment and steps he has to take around what he loads in and doesn't load in or what he has the system load in or doesn't load in as things are getting rendered to minimize the amount of memory being used and processing power and all that and uh, it's kind of a master class in thinking through some of those organizations and it's just kind of cool to see how do you take a portal and recreate it in a nintendo 64 environment and it's looking very promising yeah, it's all very interesting because I, I was a big Portal fan. Um, it was one of the few games when I bought um, Xbox 360 back in the day, which I guess is, is getting an, becoming an older system now at this point. One of the few games I picked up for it, along with Bioshock 
Grand Theft Auto and a few others uh, that I was really into and just really focused on this small group of games rather than collecting a large body of work for that system. Uh, Portal, though, was a big favorite of mine and a game that I still revisit a lot. Uh, I would be interested because because one of the things that was interesting to me, I don't know if you remember, but there were people making like 2D versions, like fan versions of Portal and things like that. So it's interesting that this is the first one that I'm aware of that's sticking with the 3D space to recreate Portal. Because I've seen sort of demakes, I guess you would call them, of Portal. But like I said, those were 2D. Yeah, and this is in in some of the uh, the uh, the video titles and descriptions. Demake is a term that's brought up here, uh, but this is, you know, this is maintaining still the, the. I mean, it's kind of the playability of Portal, uh, you know, in a, a Nintendo sixty four wrapper. So I mean, you you know what you're going to get in terms of resolution and some of the some of the other things uh, with that and your polygons and all that's going to be different, but. Uh, yeah, this was this is interesting. You know, it ties back to him. Hopefully, we can dig it out, and we'll include a link at the end of this video to uh, another one we talked about, which was uh, when uh, the one gentleman created the kind of was working on creating the two D version of Bioshock, the scroller version of Bioshock, which was kind right. of cool looking. You know, and that would be interesting. But this is this is kind of cool, staying really in the same game mode, uh, but trying to run it on hardware that may not necessarily be portal ready <laughs> so pretty cool it'd be great to hear from you folks uh if there are other games that you'd like to see either available on nintendo 64 and reimagined either in a 3d version or 2d version are there other ones that would be be kind of cool but this one i just thought it was really neat if folks hadn't seen it, i wanted to point to some of the videos and check it out and you can continue to monitor his progress as, as he moves along the guys doing a great job so it's kind of cool to watch yeah, it's all really cool. And I mean, obviously, you do have to be careful with those portal guns. You don't want to wind up 50 years in the past. Thanks for watching, everybody. You didn't think I'd get it in, did you? Yeah. <laughs>